on the news here. When it will come, it will be the right time. This is a constant struggle for me as a woman. She's gonna be like so famous. Life meaning conversation right now. A year on the road without knowing what's gonna happen. Mm. out with James and Jory. Jory does not like to be on camera so she's not in this but this is James. Hey James. Hi. And we're having a really deep life meaning conversation right now. Sometimes you gotta do that. That's what I said. Instead of sitting at home and waiting for my break I'm gonna go get it. So how's it coming for you? Is it worth what you're losing on the family emotional. side? Emotional. Emotional. Having children. This is a constant struggle for me as a woman because I am doing what I want which is awesome but, there's a time but I'm not doing my secondary passion which is having a family and settling down so I'm constantly like does my career have to happen first before I'm able to settle down can no. I do both at the same time do I have to yeah. give up my career in order to have a family as a woman I don't know and I'm getting to a point in my life where I have to make a decision well you're gonna get to a point where the decisions made for you and that's fucking scary as fuck. And this, this pretty face is gonna go away. And this and fear is fucking up shit for me. You wanna be able to fucking keep doing what you wanna do, but you wanna have a family. So yeah. now, if you have a family, are you gonna raise their kids without a mom? No. Or I don't want my kids to just be free floaty. I don't want my kids to have to go through that. And but that's why I haven't had kids yet. This is really hard. It's really hard and it's very confusing. This journey, it's like a smack in the face and then a smile. It's very extreme because you're lonely all the time, so your emotions are extreme. Everything feels extreme. Some moments are just incredible, but it's really hard a lot of the time. I just want to smile. I just want to smile and be happy and make other people happy. That's what I want with my life. This is Mr. James. He's 90 years old. He told me something is coming for me. He can feel it. I asked you when, and then you said, when it will come, it will be the right time. You can't hurry God. Oh, you can't do that. Thank you, Mr. James. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just got an audition for something really, really big. And this is Samantha. Taper. Hi, and Samantha's gonna help me self-tape and submit it. I'm super nervous, but she's awesome. She made me feel really comfortable. And now we cheers. 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 Thank you so much, Samantha. I just got contacted by WGNO, which is the local ABC channel here in New Orleans. And their entertainment reporter is coming over here to film me to do a story about my journey. Hi, Jabari. Hey, how's hey, it going? Hey, Jabari Thomas. Yes, he's the only entertainment reporter in New Orleans. So I'm gonna be on the news here. He just covered my cross country <laughs> challenge. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for no coming problem. to meet with me. But you're also an actor. Yes. So what have you been in? What do you do here? I have been in Pitch Perfect. I have been in NCIS New Orleans. Woo! I have been in Queen Sugar. I've been a guest host on The View. I've been uh You've been a guest host on The View? Point. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. So what's the next step? I'm looking towards more hosting, so there's no telling what city I'll be in. So maybe we'll meet again in Los Angeles? Yes. Oh we're, she's going to be like so famous and I'm going to be at her like place in Malibu and <laughs> we're like, she's awesome. Keep following her. I really totally respect what she's doing. Oh, so this so is a much. really cool thing. She's really inspired me. I may oh. leave my cozy bed and <laughs> travel the, the country to actually try this because it seems really cool. Oh, so keep you. supporting her. And I really hope we get to meet each other again in we LA. Will. Don't forget me now. I will never. I'm gonna I, come knocking at your gate. I don't in forget Beverly Hills. people. Why do, everybody always says that to <laughs> Every, me. Don't forget me. Everybody like, says that to me too. But I, I don't, don't forget. Know. It's a habit. So I'll see you in LA. Uh, yes. Oh my God. We'll see you in, in LA. LA. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. My name is Maytala Angel, and this is my road to Hollywood. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to continue following this crazy adventure and find out if I do actually make it to Hollywood. And if you'd like to help me get there, you can always make a contribution by clicking the link in the description. Only hate the road when you're missing. Click the link. Only know you love her when you let her go.